What's up? Well, our forecast has improved a little bit. A little bit? Yeah, yes. Not not much, but a little bit. Sure. In terms of depth, I guess, maybe that's improved a little bit. One but... to two inches, yeah. and maybe three with a lot of slush in the evening. Sure. Yeah. It'll probably be slushy regardless, you know. Probably. Kind of a spring yeah. snow, but... Well, it was nice yesterday. It was. We yep. were within two degrees of a record high. Mm-hmm. Boy, was it windy late in the it, day. It was windy, though. It, yes. made it made it feel not like 75 later in the day, well, but, uh, you know. I went I went for a bike ride. Oh. And if you stopped pedaling going into the wind, I think you just went tipped right tipped over. Tipped right over. Yeah. Did yep. you do that? So No. Well, oh. I was close. I think. Well, you had but, your training uh, wheels on, though. That's true. Yeah, you did. Yeah, see. Yeah. But mm-hmm. anyway, going down, you know, with the wind at your back, you know, it was like the Tour de France. Oh, I bet. Coming back with the wind in your face, it was leg cramp and depends. pants. <laughs> <laughs> Yowzers. <laughs> oh, man, was it. <laughs> Le leg just, cramp. Yeah. yeah. Just like well, the brakes were on. Just, sure. <laughs> yeah, that's too bad. You should, yeah, have, should have called and, you know, had Beth come pick you up. I suppose I could have. You know, because yeah. that riding back in the wind is tough. That's tough. Yeah, that's why I, I don't like to bike when it's windy, yeah. but it's hard to find a day in the it's, spring. It's, that's right, but it's good exercise. Well, I know it is. Yeah, it's good You exercise. know, but what fun is that? I want to ride around with the card in my spokes, you know, and look cool. But. Well, I, I guess I can't say much. No. Yeah, if that's if that's your goal in life, then my, Sure. Yeah. Just moving is good But enough, if you'd have you been, know? you know, if you'd have been in there yesterday, your card in the spokes went... Oh, I would have. Yeah, it would have been kind of slow. <laughs> it's hard to stay upright when you're pedaling. And you can't move that fast. I know. You know? Yeah. Mm. It's it's tough. It is it's tough. tough. Yep. Huh? Yep. Yep. Okay, well, today we're raising the stakes. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, in, in terms of... Um, the stakes. Tra- like T-bone or nope. maybe a ribeye or something? or No. What are we doing here, Ronnie? Oh, we're raising the stakes for ski. Cans of ski. Where, pray tell, did you find that? From Mr. Terry Nimix. Oh, wow. Yes, some incentive for you on your quiz. Oh, boy. Real juice. Mm. Ski. Right. Ooh. Doesn't it make... Well, what? Are you Don't let be picking them up. You haven't earned them yet. Well, I was just admiring the can. Well, you can admire them with your eyes, uh-huh. not your hands. There it... you are. I'll turn, I'll turn one so you can see the nutrition label, and the other so you see the front. Well, it says concentrate so i'm concentrating (laughs) good for you (laughs) well here's what we have what we have a quiz on april which is garden month garden month garden month yes here we go so your ski is on the line thanks to terry this morning wow get three right you get one can oh get five right you get two cans two cans get six right you get to drink one of the cans. <laughs> no, get no. seven right, what? you drink both cans. Oh, boy. No, you know, I never drink a ski before 10 o'clock in the morning. Really? So, no, no, no. Well, so. of course, you have to you have to get six right. <laughs> <laughs> so it may not be a That's problem. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see. You are a gardening man. Oh, sure. Yes. Your fingers are in the dirt. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an expert. You're yeah. an expert. Well, uh-huh. let, let's see if you are. And here we have these two delicious cans of ski <sighs> as your incentive. Boy, this is a lot of pressure. Well, that's just fine. Just don't shake the can or there'll be more. <laughs> <laughs> It'll stain your glasses there. Yeah, that's true. Question number one. Right. And there are only seven questions for you this oh, morning. Boy. Yeah. Number one, a sunflower is just one flower or many flowers. A sunflower, if you plant one in your garden, is it one flower or is it many flowers? Hmm. Okay. Number two is a true or false question. There are more microorganisms in one teaspoon of soil than people on earth. 
Is that true or is that false? My word. Yes. Number three is true or false. Having a radio in your garden, Philip, mm. could help your plants grow. Oh, okay. Is that true or false? So does it depend on the program? So like if it's... Reminiscing with Ray? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those were the days uh, they might no, might yeah. wilt. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, all right, true or false? Number four, butterflies in Sextonville <laughs> might be more apt to stop by which? Your flower garden uh -huh. or your dandelions? Mm. Oh, wait a minute. Do you have dandelions? Not yet, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Give me time. Give you know? me time. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All yeah, right. then they, they kind of, they laugh at me. You know, really? I get mowed. I go, oh, this is so pretty. And then six hours later, hey. <laughs> six hours? You get that much? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. sometimes well, six minutes, I yeah, think. Yeah, well, if I knock them down, yeah. you know, fine <laughs> up, so. Butterflies. Will they visit your flower garden or your dandelions? Hmm. Number five. You, Philip, as a master gardener. Yes. Can change a hydrangea's color by altering the pH level in your soil. Remember this from egg mm. class? Oh, sure. All right. Yep. The more alkaline soil will result in what? A pinker or a bluer bloom? Mm. A more alkaline soil, will your hydrangea be more pink or more blue? So you just throw a battery in the soil then, do you? Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Alkaline yeah. battery. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Number six is yep. true or false. The thistle is Scotland's national flower. <laughs> 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 and number seven. That'd be bad to step on one of your one wearing your quilt or your kilt, you know, the running. Yeah. That's true. You're wearing a quilt. I'm wearing a kilt. kilt. <laughs> oh, well. And we'll keep it that yeah, way. We <laughs> <laughs> number seven. If you decide to plant Jerusalem artichokes in your garden this year, Phil, will you have to worry about a deer eating them? Do you plant Jerusalem artichokes? I don't believe so. No. Really? Well, should. maybe this should be your year. Throw them on my pizza, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is their yeah. primary use. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> I usually put manure on my berries, too. But <laughs> yeah. I, I do. But... Anyway, what there do we got, go. Ronnie? Number seven. That's it. Number seven. All yep. right. All so right. Three for the ski. So the ski now moves on my side of the table. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Three for the ski. And then how many more for two skis? Two skis is five. I get said... six right. You get to drink one of the two cans. And seven, you get to drink both. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see how you do. All right. Of course, I'm not a very tough cookie, so I suspect you'll still get to consume. Huh? You know. No, I probably not, you know, unless <laughs> cause I've got to talk. Unless we can get some sort of, you know, feeding tube in my vein or something. <laughs> Well, today we're talking about the betrayal on the morning show. You can drink it then. Oh, okay. Yeah, That'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. A sunflower. Is it one flower or many flowers? That's many flowers. It is many flowers. Whoa. Yes, that's right. Both the fuzzy brown center and the classic yellow petals are actually 1,000 to 2,000 individual flowers. My goodness. Yes, isn't that mm. something? True or false, there are more microorganisms in a teaspoon of soil than there are people on Earth. That's true. That is true. <laughs> you are two for two in the gardening department. True or false, having a radio in your garden could help your plants grow. True? True. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> Ronnie. <laughs> Researchers say that plants really do respond to sound. So talking to your plants might be a good a, idea. A great idea. There yeah. you go. Hey, tomato, you look great today. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. kohlrabi, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're supposed to talk to your house plants. I know that. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. See, so it works. Right. All right. That was ooh. one ski. One ski for the knee. One ski for the knee across the table on your side. All right. All right. Thank you, Terry. Butterflies in Sextonville will be more apt in all likelihood, to stop by your flower garden or your dandelions. My dandelions. Yes. Would you like to explain your answer? They like them. <laughs> <laughs>
That in-depth you know, <laughs> discussion you. will get you nothing. Thank you. Actually, what's happened is, uh, according to this uh, website, the Smithsonian Institute, new cultivars of popular flowers have been enhanced for color and size, but have lost their fragrance in the process. Oh. So some of your weeds, your dandelions, actually are more appealing to a butterfly. Well, who knew? Yeah, exactly. Starting so, a butterfly preserve. Thing, yeah, you maybe know? you are. That's four, correct, out of Oof. four. You can change a hydrangea's color by altering the pH of your soil. If your soil is alkaline, will your hydrangea be more pink or more blue? It'll be more pink. It will. Yes, <laughs> Ronnie! <laughs> Yes, it will. Five for five. Mo uh, Woo, Roddy. Ooh. I thought it was six. No, nope, five. five for five, you get two cans. I get the two skins. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Six, you get to drink one. This could be the greatest day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, true or false, the thistle is Scotland's national flower. That's true. It is true. <laughs> yes, it is true. <laughs> oh, 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 Roddy. <laughs> the Vikings had a hard time pushing through vast patches of thistles. Must have been my you know, forerunners <laughs> who were farming there. <laughs> and so as a result, the Scots were able to escape. Later, they honored the plant by naming it the national flower. Oh, I see. So it actually helped them. It actually helped them, yes. Oh. The Vikings couldn't get through the thistles very well, so... Anyway, the Scots were able to escape. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like your pasture, I bet, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Much so. And my hayfield. And your hayfield. Yeah. <laughs> and my cornfield, yeah. yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. And number seven. If you decide to plant Jerusalem artichokes in your garden, will you have to worry about a deer eating them? No. Yes. Oh, you will. Yes. <laughs> oh, Ronnie. <laughs> well, you get to drink one can. Oh, You're a six of seven gardening six man. Six of seven. Yes. Deer love Jerusalem artichokes. Really? Yes, they do. Uh, Jerusalem artichoke has a nutty, savory flavor. It's a cross between an artichoke heart and the best potato you've ever had. Really? Yes. I had no idea. Yes. And they have an effect very similar to beans. Oh. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. So be careful. You know, it's not a real good food for your first date. No, you know? Well, probably yeah. not. Yeah. But for the deer, it's probably not For good the deer, either. it's probably not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, so there you go. Well, six of seven now. That's is this, pretty good. Is this fridge worthy? I would say so. Woo. And you get one ski. One ski. Yeah, yeah. You got two cans, but you can only drink one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, again, I think I'll wait till your morning show Do time you think at so? least. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Well, that's that's uh, or maybe have it on the way to my ball game today. You could, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah. Yes. Where are you headed today? Platteville. Platteville. Okay. Yes. Well, that's a long trip. Yeah. Yeah. Give you time to keep enjoy that refreshed. So, yes. Well. And here's your gardening tip for this oh, year. I need that to keep dirt from getting under your fingernails while gardening. Uh -huh. First, scratch your nails across a bar of soap. Wow. The soap will keep the dirt from under your nails, and when you're finished gardening, you just wash the soap away. Isn't that something? Well, yes. So there you are, scratching on a bar of soap, and you're all set. Hmm. Kind of gives me chills. Not Ooh. like a blackboard, but still, you know, just the thought of it, you know. You think, oh, soap wouldn't be that Well, you bad. were just scratching on the counter. Oh, well, that, that, this isn't soap. soap. You were, yeah. I know. Sorry. You were kind of showing me that. Yeah. It was almost like oh. the blackboard. Sent shivers up and yeah. down your spine. It did. Huh? It did. Oh, well. But I got a good job, Philip, and, uh, you know, it's yeah, going on the fridge. Good. Yeah, You know, not as good as the fox quiz, but still, it's, still, it's yeah. up there. If you have so. a fox in your garden, you're going to be all set. Right. A man of many seasons of wisdom. Thank you. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> in the last quarter, you know, I've been raising my grade yeah, up pretty good. Yeah, you've been doing pretty so. good, yeah. Trying to yeah. avoid summer yeah. school. And with Terry's help, you get a reward. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, that is something. What a day. What yeah, a day. what a day. Yeah. <laughs> Well, good luck with your garden, too, Ronnie. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Going to plant some tomatoes on your deck, are you? Uh, well, we well, do sometimes. Do you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Well, if you need any uh, tips, you know, just you know who to call. Yeah, extension. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one, Ronnie. Thank you.